Hi, my name is Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to start, stop, and restart a local instance of Liferate DXP for Windows. So I've navigated to my local disk. Now I'm going to select the instance of Liferate DXP that we're going to use. In this case, it's going to be the 7.4 EP3. I'll navigate into this folder, go into Tomcat, and finally our bin folder. Now I'm going to go and scroll down until I find the startup.bat file. I'm going to just double click that, which will open up our Tomcat server. So this may take a few moments to initialize. But eventually, we're going to see a window open in our browser that will take us to our library instance. Ah, as you can see, a window has opened in our browser of choice, and we are now into Liferay DXP. So in order to shut down our local instance, uh, we simply go back to our bin folder and we double click on the shutdown.bat file. So the shutdown may also take a few moments, but it's typically a lot faster than the startup. And we can just go ahead and close our browser. Now, if we wanted to restart our instance, uh, the proper way to do that would be to go back to our startup.bat file and simply double click that once more. As you can see, our instance has restarted. So there you go. We have successfully started, stopped, and restarted a local instance of Liferay DXP on Windows. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.